Hey, good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Did you have a good day today? Yes. Okay. Anything new or unusual? Nothing new. All is equal the last last day. <laughs> okay. Normally, the last day of the month is is difficult. <laughs> Many activities in the jobs and the office and things like this. Yes. Yes. Does anybody have any questions about the platform? Is there any uh, exercise or activity you're not sure about? No, oh, teacher. No. No. Oh, okay. Me, no. For you, no. Anybody else? Teacher, I have a problem with the exercise 2.9. Yesterday, I was. I was not in the class because I have I had problems with my internet. Okay. And and the exercise two point ten is reading exercise and answer the question with um, with a short form. Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we answered the questions in class. So go ahead, Arturo, tell us which one. Okay. We, because uh, we, we already checked them all. So go ahead. Camila can answer. Or Romulo can answer. Don't worry. Okay. Everybody's ready. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, because all of my, my answers are wrong. I don't know why. I think it's because the short form is not the way that I answer. It's I just flap the the uh, the text in the picture to the answer. Okay, share if you want. Share the screen. We'll help you. Don't worry. I can I cannot share uh, share my screen because I am from the phone <laughs> and ah. the platform. <laughs> okay, no, but you can still share. You can still share your your screen on the phone uh, for the future if you want. It, it just takes. Uh, the only problem is when you share your screen, you don't see uh, the other people. The only thing that it eliminates all of the people and only the screen. Ah, uh, okay. But I'll help you. So the idea was for those exercises is you're not going to make complete sentences, okay? Um, the, one I, the one that I remember, I don't know if Romulo or Henya remember another one, but the one I remember was about the school. It's Juilliard's School of Arts, and that was it. It's not a complete sentence. It's not, uh, she studied at Juilliard School of Arts, or, in, or it's not uh, Juilliard, or Juilliard School of Arts in, the, in New York or something like that. It's just the short answer. So when, when oh, okay. in these exercises, all they're looking for is just the exact information. Okay, I, wait, I, I will try and tomorrow if I have uh, some question, I will, I will ask yeah. you again. Okay, no problem. Sure Picasso is a apostrophe. Oh, that's right, Ramon. That, hey, do you remember <laughs> that one? Yeah, there, there's an answer that's Picasso's, but it's, it's not just Picasso, it's Picasso apostrophe S because it's possessive. I think it was number four. I think it's, can you look at, look at it, see if it, if it says number four. What was number four? I think, uh, who is she compared to was the, the question the, or? The, the last like question. That. Yes, the last question, the five question. Ah, okay, it's question five, Arturo. It's question five, they say, Camila. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one Thank is going, you. That's going to be Picasso, but remember that it has to be apostrophe and not the, the tilde that sometimes the computer confuses. It, mm -hmm. So sometimes that's, and then apostrophe S. Yes. Picasso. Right. Okay, so try it. And if you have any difficulties, let us know and we'll, we'll help you, okay? Or in the, in the other case is um, 
in, in the YouTube channel. You can look at yesterday's class. I think it's the last five minutes, the last 10 minutes of, the, of that video, and there are the answers because we, we solved them right, in class. You're right. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Uh, the video is here. Okay, I, I will watch it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the two. But this one, this exercise I remember was like in the last, last part of the class. So it's okay. probably in the last 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. No problem. I will try. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions about the platform or exercises? No, teacher. Thanks. All right, great. Then let me ask you. Yesterday we learned about how to use particles as adjectives. Um, remember, adjectives are words that describe. So yesterday we learned two types of participles. Do you remember what they were? No, okay, I see. Don't worry, don't feel, it's okay. We had the present participle and we had the past participle, okay? Now, don't worry about the names. The names is, it's okay to know them, but what is the main idea? I think this is the most important, that we need to be clear the difference between when we I use think. ing or when we use ed in participles. This for me is the most important part of it. Okay, so we have a couple of different ways to remember it. Here, let me put this one here, okay. In present participle, we add an ing. That means for excite, we're going to have ing, exciting. That means- Welcome, this time you will learn participle. about part- Hang on, we already saw this part. Well, we didn't see it, but we already explained it. So give me just a sec. I'll move up the little the video a little bit okay there we go so as you can see present participles we're referring to as ing past participles we're referring to them the verbs as ed or okay now we're using them as adjectives that means we're using them to describe things in the case of ing um, in case you weren't here yesterday or if you don't remember, ING is used exclusively to describe the object or describe things, okay? That's ING. So the flowers are beautiful, okay? That's the flowers. So the same beautiful, but when we use these other words, oh, we use with ING. The flowers are interesting. The flowers are fascinating, okay? But if we describe the person, or the subject, then it's with ED. Oh, I am fascinated by the flowers. I am interested in the flowers. This is the ED is for the people, the ING is for the object, okay? It's not that it's present and past. It's only that is ED for people, ING for objects. Now, we see several examples here. We're gonna watch this short video. Uh, this is video from 3.3. This is participles as adjectives that we had the introduction to yesterday. So let's watch it. And if you have any questions, you let me know. Or if you have a question right now, tell me. Okay, if no questions, let's watch and then we'll be able to practice some exercises. Size three, grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. 
In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun, and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. All right, I hope that helped you a little bit more. Um, one more time, summarizing. ING is for the thing. ED is for the person, because the person has emotions and feelings. The things don't. So that's why almost always we have ED is just for the people. Is that okay? Are there any questions? That's okay, teacher. No question. Okay, great, because then what we're going to do is we're going to try to complete this exercise. We have several words there. I don't know if you can see some of those words because the letters are like in yellow or purple, but let me see if I can get them into our chat. Okay, so we have the word amaze, annoy, Confuse, disgust, embarrass, and shock. Do you know what those words mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So with your partners, we're going to make a group and we're going to try to complete this exercise. Okay. We have to use them in the correct form. When do we use ED? When do we use ING? Now for that, here is the discussion post. There are no, so that means that you and your partner are going to write, okay? So you're gonna think about it, and then you're going to write in what you think is the correct one. What is the correct answer for them? So as an example, when you write it, you can put, here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can have number one, and then just a word, number two, just a word, whatever you think is the correct way to use it. 
is it clear the instructions of what we're going to do? Yes, teacher. Sorry, teacher, can you repeat, please? Of course. Okay, so with that exercise, you are going to complete it in the ED or ING, okay? You are going to first do it speaking with your partner. This is one. You're going to read and speak with your partner. When you are finished speaking and you agree, for example, Arturo and I make a decision. No, I think it's ED. No, I think it's ING. Mm, okay, let's try ING. When Arturo and I are finished speaking and completing the exercise, then we are going to write our answers in 3.3. Three, in 3 Okay, now it's not necessary that two write the answer. It's not necessary that both write the answer. With one person that writes the answer, it's okay. But the idea is for the people to write the answers. That way you feel comfortable. Now, if Arturo and I have different opinions, then yes, it's necessary the two write the answers because we have different opinions. Because Arturo thinks is with ING and I think it's ED. And then we put and we check. That's how it works. Maybe if Arturo's right, maybe I'm right. Is that okay, Eugenio? Yes, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so let's make our groups. Okay, we're going to speak and say our answers, and then we're going to write them. Orlando Blanca, do you have any questions? No, teacher. I don't have a question. Okay. Did you, did you receive the invitation, Blanca? No, teacher. I don't receive. Ah, okay. Let's try. Let's try one more time. Okay. Did you receive now, Blanca? Right, I'm looking for the the exercise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that that? Next. Next. This is load my internet right now. Okay. Um, project and me project uh, the, the exercise. Yeah. I was a little confused. Uh, I was a little confused. Yes. No, no, no. I, I think it's. I was. I was a little embarrassing. Embarrassing is como avergonzado. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think yes. it's. it's. Uh -huh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, because the, then there was trash all over the tree. Uh -huh. Do you think the exercise? Okay. Um, I read. Uh, I have a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really... I think it's shock. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. ING. Shock and ING. Why shock. not is shocked with ED? No, because it's in, uh, uh, yes, in yes. person. Ah, yes, yes, AD is people. 
people. Aha, aha. Aha. <laughs> okay. It's choc choc okay. choco. Mm -hmm. um, by the price. By mistake, I got the cashier a uh, $5. Bills in, in feet, in feet instead of, okay. instead of uh, 10. I was a little... A little... Um, embarrassed. Embarrassed. In a person, because it's with ED, right? I, I don't know yes. if I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed. Yeah. This was a little is described a uh, uh, cashier the price. I think it is. What? I, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Not it is. Oh my god. I was a little I think in that case in embarrassed. Cashier five bill is still in still is um yeah in still in still of a ten and then says I was a little I think that in that case it could be embarrassed because shocked is something that I'm impressed but embarrassed when you feel bad yeah, for something that you did in in the incorrect way or 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 just bad. I think in that case is embarrassed. Embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, but mm -hmm. um, embarrassing. And mm. I must say this I gave there. the cash a bill instead of a time. This goes by this goods by the price. Yeah. By mistakes I gave the cash or uh, cash. I built instead of stand. I was a little embarrassed. A little embarrassed. Yeah. A little embarrassed. A little embarrassed. Embarrassed. Like it's in our group. Yes, embarrassed. embarrassed. I ain't Yeah, embarrassed. I understand that. I embarrassed. Then there then was tries all over the theater. All over the theater. The men, they were choking. I think. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. I don't know if if it, the these words we have to put in order on the lines. I can hear you, teacher. I say in the platform, you have a writing um, underneath the video. Uh, so it's a discussion forum. And in the discussion, you're going to put your answers. Here, right. Let me see. So in the discussion where we have, right, exactly, right there. That's where you're going to put it. So you're going to put down what your what you think is the answer. Do you think it's with ing? Do you think it's ed? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Which or and the word because maybe the word is incorrect, but is the correct form or something like mm -hmm. this. So you're going to put your answers there. But the words uh, are in order. For example, no, uh, no we have to we have you're, to put the correct. You have okay. to put in the correct. You have to put in the correct order. And you have to put the correct form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, let's try your um, The first sentence says, I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really... I was really... Amazed by the price. I don't know if you are, are agree. 
Or I shock. Nice. Because it's a, I was really, it's a reaction, is with ED, but I don't know um, the correct word. It can be um, choke or amazed. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost ten dollars. I was really amazed by the price. I think I'm amazed with with ED by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a five dollars bill instead of a ten. I was a little a little confused. With ED, I don't know if you are agree with me. A little confused because ED? it's a, it's a, I gave the cashier a five dollars bill instead of a ten. I was a little confused. Mm -hmm. Then there was a trap. There was trash all over the theater. The mess was annoying, or the mess was disgusting, I think, disgusting. The mess was disgusting with ING. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are agree with that. And then, uh, the people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying because a lot of, a lot of um, annoying. Um, the story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too amazed to know because we use it amazed. Thrillers too. I don't know. What? I've always find players uh, to um, amaze. We use it, we use annoyed, we use confused, we use discuss. I think the second. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hello, Blanky. Hello, Blanky and teacher. Hey. Maybe okay. Blank is having some problems, huh? <laughs> I think uh, maybe with the audio. Do you, we, have any, do you have any questions? Yeah. Um, I I had a doubt about the use of the ENG. Okay. Can you remember that, 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 please? Of course, of course. The We have the, the function of the ING is to talk about the object to talk about the thing that causes the emotion, okay? Okay. When you have the emotion or when you describe the emotion is ED. When ED you talk, for emotions? For emotions, that's right. And ENG is for the thing. The thing that causes the emotion. So for okay. example, we go to, a, we go to a Cinemark, okay? And the movie is exciting because the movie causes the emotion, it is exciting. Me, I feel the emotion. I am excited. Okay. So and for example, for example, if I, I talking with someone about the prices or too more expensive for something, I can use shock it or shocking. Correct. Right. De depends if you are describing the price or you're describing you. If is the price is shocking, if it's you is shocked. As, as for my emotions. Correct. Okay. So uh, you're welcome. Okay. Is a uh, um, is a uh, confusing. Confused. Yeah. 
I always feel the tears too confused. Uh -huh. I like I like it. I the like special, I like the special effect though they were the shocker. Oh, shock, shocker. They were shocked. They were shocked. Yeah. Uh, can 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 I read, teacher? If uh... yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I had a terrible time of the movies. First, my ticket cost ten dollars. Was really. I uh, ten dollar. I was really. Uh, I, I was really disgust. I was really disgusted by the price. By mistake, I by mistake, I gave the cashier a five dollars bill instead of a ten. I was a little embarrassed then there was trash all over the theater theater the mess the mess was uh, the mess was amazed the people behind me talk during the movie, which was uh, annoyed. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. Uh, confused. confused. I like the special effects, though they were uh, shocked. Okay, um, you have four mistakes. Four mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's okay. It's, there are different types of mistakes. So some of the mistakes are, for example, um, the wrong word. Other is the incorrect form. You have the correct word, but not in the correct form. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me help you again. The ED is when you are describing the emotions of the person. Okay. I emotion of the person. This is the ED. So if we go to Cinemark, as an example, and you have a movie, the movie, the thing is exciting. Me, I am excited, okay? Cinemark, La Gran Villa is amazing because they provoke or they create this emotion but I feel this emotion. So I am amazed, I am uh, surprised, I am with ED. Okay. Okay, don't worry, that's why we practice. We practice so we can all try to get the right one. You put your answer in the bottom there, in the discussion forum, and then we're going to check. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong, but we can compare. Okay. Okay, no problem. go ahead, okay. put into the discussion. Okay, Olga, I tried to... Oh, really? Yeah. And you? And I work at the university. Oh, really? Yes, in San Salvador? In San Salvador, yes. Uh, I, I am from Santa Ana. Ah. Yes. <laughs> it's little close of you. Yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Anybody have any questions? No, everything's clear like horchata. Like horchata, uh-huh. Or only, cebada. Or cebada. 
Okay, the, I only see one group and that is Maria Eugenia um, is the only one that put the answers into the discussion. Remember, put your answers in the discussion. That way it's going to be easier for us to see if you are understanding the correct one. Okay. I know some of you are, if you are have different opinion than your partner, it's no problem. You, the two of you can write it in there. Okay. So in general, just to help, because I know some of you still have a little bit of confusion. Remember, the ING is to describe the object or the thing that gives you this emotion. Me, uh, the person, is because the person feel the emotion is with ED. Okay. The object that creates the emotion is ING. So usually, not always, but usually the ING is for the things and the ED is for the people. So imagine uh, Blanca, Lydia, and Eugenia go to the movies, okay? They go to Multiplaza and they go to the movies. They say, oh, how was the movie? Ah, oh, the movie was amazing. The movie was incredible. The movie was entertaining. The moon, this is all with ING because we're describing the movie. But for them, how do you feel? Ah, I am amazed. I am entertained. I am, you know, happy, for example, because it's the same function. The same function as a normal adjective is the same for these. Only the difference is has ing or it has ed. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our partners and we're going to practice a little bit more because I know it's a little difficult to get clear sometimes the exact idea. So for this one, we're going to go to 3.4, the knowledge check. Okay. And our knowledge check has 10 questions. For here, all you have to do is choose which is the correct form. Is the correct sentence ING or the correct form is ED? I recommend is each person complete individually. Arturo complete, Camila complete. When the two finish completing, then they compare. Arturo, what do you have for number one? Camila, what do you have for number two? Because that way you don't copy. That way you identify if you understand or if your partner understand. Okay? So first, complete individually. Then with your partners, compare and see if you have the correct answers. Okay, let's go to the groups. Remember, this is the next one. This is the 3.4. 3.4 knowledge check. Okay. And three, 
I'm not interested in, interested in, in science with the movie. Yes, there is that. I bored by watching television. I, I bored. Bored, okay. Bored. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Yes. Yes. And the number five. No. Uh, six. Six. I, I am fascinated mm -hmm. by Tolkien's novels. Fascinated. Fascinated. Yes. It is surprising that horror movies are so popular. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Surprising. I was really, it's the same, choking and choking. Yes, I think it's uh, <laughs> correct. Uh, I yes, guess it's choked. It's uh -huh. sure. Shocked, but I don't know why. I don't know why it's uh, incorrect. You could find it's uh, encontré. Uh, Filmes que son entretenidos. It's like, it's like that, I, I, I think. But I'm, I don't know. Or, um, oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 I finish yeah, and this compare, I don't know, compare it with is the, uh, the problem, the problem uh, say is correct or is mistake. Okay. Yeah, the platform show you if you are okay or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The teacher, I don't know. Um, teacher in the in the exercise number A have a problem. Um, only can choice. Uh, only can show it. One moment, please. Only can show it. Shocking and shocking and not shocker and shocking. The platform just show us. One choose no the microphone is off option. Teacher. E and G and nor another you. to compare with the E. -D. Thank you. I see. Okay. Let me put that as well. This is a uh, three point four and number eight, eight. correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to send it also to, uh, again, to Jonathan to make sure that they are fixing these mistakes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We finished, teacher. Perfect. Were there any questions? Anything that you didn't understand? No question. It's okay. Just a mistake in the number eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's good that you identify it because then I can report it to Jonathan and they they they, they are able to fix it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 3.4 and number 8. Okay. All right, let's go back to the groups and make sure that everything is okay then for the other people. Sometimes they might have a little question or something. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Sure. Thank you. All right. Does anybody have any questions? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. And in the number nine, the sentence says, the number, the number eight, I'm sorry, the number eight. The answer in, in the page is shocking in, in both of the case. And yeah. when I mean, I was really shocking by the price, I think it was, I was really shocked by the price with ED. That's correct. Not me. Yes, I already reported it to Jonathan because I uh, we just identified it. That it should have the ED and the ING option because the ED is for you, right? I was really shocked. Is the ED, and then the oh, other, okay. the others is the ING. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, I, uh, we already had another group also identify it, which was good, that's excellent. That way we can make sure that it's being corrected. Sometimes, I don't know why, but uh, I don't know if it's a new module, but uh, or it's important that we report it. Sometimes uh, the people forget to report and then the mistake continues to stay in the same platform, so. Ah, okay, and I have another question. Yep. Uh, with the sentence, the first sentence, Johnny Deep is a very amazed because he's a person or amazing? Amazing actor, not amazed. Because he is not amazed. Remember, when he, the emotion, when you feel the emotion is ED. But when ah, ca the what causes the emotion is ING. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So one more time for number one. It is uh, ing because he is not a man of his own work. Or, or yeah. That's why. Okay. Uh, Jonathan is a very amazing actor. So we're talking about we're using him as the option, like the TV or the movie. We're we're using him as an object. So we're describing the the object, not the emotion. How I feel. Okay. Okay. Did anybody else have any other questions or any other ones that are not clear? Okay, great. I'm glad that everybody is going well and that you're identifying the mistakes that are in the platform as well as being able to create them yourself. Um, in our final exercises that we have for this evening are the idea of synonyms. Um, okay. Here we're looking at words, being able to express opinions. There are several words there, okay? We have different ways to express opinions and we have synonyms. Synonyms are words that are, in this case, that are similar or the same as the original word. So they have, the idea is to have the same meaning. Using different words, but to have the same meanings. Here we have in the, in the yellow box, we have awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange, okay? Do you know what those words mean? Awful. No, I don't know. Wonderful, stupid, A lot of them, yes. Mm, there are some that I don't know. Okay, but let's start with the, let's start with the words in the yellow. Do you know what is the word awful? Yeah, something is disgusting for your view, okay. like a horrible. Yeah, that's right. Very good. So something that is not good, like horrible. Very good. That's a good example. Do you know what is wonderful? It's the opposite. Something is good for your view. That's right. It's the antonym or the opposite of awful. So if something is very good, is going to be the wonderful. Very bad, it's the awful. What about the word stupid? Do you know what is stupid? <laughs> something like a dumb, illogical. Yeah, that's right. Something like dumb or illogical, that's right. Not intelligent. Mm -hmm. Good. And what about the word strange? Do you know what is strange? Like a freak. Like a freak, okay. Yeah, something that is not normal. 
okay? So, what are we gonna do? With our partners, we're gonna try to match up the words that go in the correct column. There are four of them, as you can see, four, 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 and four. So there are four words that go with awful, four words that have wonderful, stupid, and strange. The four words are in reference to, they have similar meaning as that word in the yellow box. I sent it to the WhatsApp group in case you want to see the vocabulary there or discuss it with your partner. It's okay, if you don't know one of the words, no problem, you leave blank. Maybe your partner knows the answer. The idea is to work together and try to match the synonyms. Yeah. Okay. To the stupid, okay. Mm -hmm. And bizarre, I think it's also. And disgusting, I think it's strange. It's strange, yes. Deadful, dreadful. I don't know, what is it? Uh, I tried to, to put the picture picture in the, in the, that's that's uh, I I I have the picture. I have um, the activity is write the words in cla classic in oh, A4, wonderful, stupid, strange. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, uh, basically, the, the exercise is terrible. Okay. <laughs> and let me see which one. Uh, I forgot the, the, the picture. Uh, the, the picture said, uh, send, send us in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. Complete the chart with synonyms from the list. Yeah. Synonymous. The, the first okay. time the apple is associate as uh, associate uh actual is it means um disgust yeah basically we have to put the synonym for all the words that are in the yellow space so for all the list that we have for awful could be mm, let me see could be horrible and Terrible, bizarre. No, bizarre could be a strange. No, no, this would be in a strange. Um, dumb, no, dumb is for a stupid. I, I think just dumb is for Where is supplying it like a strange? Absurd and silly. Um, one more, one more word. You know, silly. So silly, terrible. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic is like, yeah, it's the second, right? Um, it's in wonderful, I think. Fantastic, aha. Uh -huh. yeah. In wonderful. It's wonderful. Synonyms. And fabulous, and Synonyms. fabulous too. Fabulous. Fabulous. Peter, what is the meaning of of? Of which one? Of all? O D D. Ah, not normal. Awful. Excuse me. Not normal. Like a stranger. 
correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So all is like stranger. Is the same uh, like the bizarre? I don't know how do you. Yes, bizarre. Bizarre. Mm -hmm. Bizarre and all are with stranger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the meaning. Okay, we have several words that are new and some of them that we know, some of them that we don't know. I know that one of the groups asked for the word odd, O-D-D. -D. Odd is the word that means not normal or not usual, that is odd. Are there any other words you don't know what they mean? Outstanding is like incredible. Outstanding is more, is we would use it with wonderful because it's incredible. And the meaning of marvelous teacher? Like the, um, like Captain America. Captain America, they have, uh, and Iron Man, the superheroes, it, it, they're marvelous. Wonderful. Exactly, the marvelous okay. superhero. Exactly, Marvel. Mm -hmm. Marvelous. Okay, we're going to pause. We're going to go ahead and continue tomorrow reviewing the words and trying to use them in sentences and make sure that it's clear for everyone. Okay. And good night. Good okay. night. Good I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank All you. right. Bye. 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 Bye.